me está fallando el programa, se me ha paralizado como dos veces y bueno, a ver si pueden ver ahí la orden en la cual van las secuencias. Ahí así. Es el mismo procedimiento desde el principio hasta el fin. Les voy a poner al final del video una foto de cómo es que se ve el patrón en el programa que estoy aprendiendo. Para que ustedes de allí suban sus secuencias las veces que sea necesario hasta que terminen lo que vayan a hacer. Hasta aquí. Es una vez. Se mira y así. Todo esto que ven aquí, de aquí hasta acá. Es el patrón. Entonces de aquí repiten lo mismo que les he mostrado cómo hacer aquí. De abajo hacia arriba, de abajo hacia arriba. Entonces aquí repitan lo mismo de abajo hacia arriba, de abajo hacia arriba hasta que terminen lo que vayan a hacer. Porque este es el patrón aquí así. Bueno, muchas gracias por ver mis videos y yo les agradezco todas las estrellitas que me puedan dejar. No se les olvide pasar por mis otros canales, ser mis amigos, suscribirse. Yo con mucho gusto los voy a recibir a todos. Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pattern. It's one flower over here, one flower over here. And this one, the light blue is supposed to be green. But I do not have green, so I use the blue. And the flower is supposed to be red or orange, whatever, but I do not have these colors with me, so I'm using whatever I have. At the end of the video, I'm going to put it down the image of the pattern. So you guys know what I'm talking about. You begin to get your, your beads from left to right. And when you're done, you make a knot into your needle. And then, that way you're going to stop the bees from falling down, all right? So after that, you're going to the other end. Tie the 
tie the needle that you pick up the bees. You use this needle to pick up the beads from left to right. This is the sequence that we're going to begin with. And from here, we're going to pile up one more this way. One more, one more, one more. Like that. That's how it's in the program. But this is a sequence that we're going to begin. Eight. All right. So right here, I already begin once. Now we're going to begin again. This one over here. This is the first sequence. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you this much of the pattern, but I do not go into tack, okay? So I hope you guys can understand me better. And then from there, I'm going to continue. This is the second um second video oh no 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 this one is going to be the second time that I put in the pattern together okay this is one this one over here is the second so I get the pattern together twice when I done with this video okay that is what we're going to do at the end of the video I'm going to show you guys the image of the pattern so you know what I'm talking about This is very simple. The pattern is very simple too. The steps are very simple. It's the same thing. Put one bead on top of the other right here. It's like the string is supposed to be in the middle right here. And this one and this one between like that. You hold it on top of it and then pull it. Two of the loops like that. Put one more up, hold it, and grab the yarn, one, two. Yarn or thread, whatever it is that you guys choosing, all right? Get one more up there, like that. One, two loops. Put the hook below the bead. Put the bead to the side, put this one on top of it, hold it, and grab the yarn, pass it one loop, two loops, like that. Again. This one, the CBs are size 7. Oh dear God. The CBs that I'm using this time, they are size 8. I try to use size 8 on the patterns that I make with crochet because the CBs are all the same. So there is no excuses for me to make it wrong 
if you know what I mean. So I try to put it on just a little bit of beads that I have, the little bit of colors. I use them to show you guys the pattern with crochet. So you guys can see the difference of the patterns, a little bit of difference, not much because the flower is supposed to be red or purple or blue or maybe pink but because I do not have it I'm using white and clear the center of the flower just to be you know whichever color you guys like it but if I like it yellow I do not have yellow so when the flower is white I put it um, clear in the middle right here and with the flower is clear, I put um, white in the middle. So, you know, I'm just giving you an idea. And after that, you guys can go ahead and choose different colors and organize the colors. That's not different. I mean, that is not different. From what I'm doing, all you do is change the colors, that's all. And after that, you select the colors that you want to work with. And then I'm going to show you the picture. So you can pick up your CVs. Remember, you always have to do that from left to right. Like this. Like you guys see, this pattern is very simple. Because like you guys know, I'm learning with you guys. So 